back on the river. Um, we go after some brown trout, some rainbow trout, maybe a brook trout or two. Um, I'm close to my house here. It's time flies all week. I thought I made that short video the other day, but um, just kind of wanted to get out today. Kind of got caught up on some fly orders, so I'm close to home, which is good and bad. It's good and not a drive. The bad is my boots were frozen, so I didn't get the benefit of the car ride where you had to thaw them. But we're here, so let's see what happens. There's good and bad about fishing close to the house. Good is you don't have to drive that far. The bad is, if you're like me, probably left your boots in your fishing car or outside and they're iced. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so the first hole, kind of going fast, um, deep, fast water, kind of hard to drift through, through a streamer. You can see it up there. But uh, coming back now, I'm gonna start looking for the, uh, the pockets, the pocket water, where the fish are gonna be hanging. And uh, basically that's like right here. You can see the, there's a seam from that rock to this rock. I'm sure there's a few sitting in there, so um, hopefully I can get one or two.
All right, got that little one there on a mop fly. Had to go with a four millimeter um, tungsten head. Kind of fast here, it's up a little bit. A little harder than I thought, but um, beautiful fish. Um, I think there's a bigger one in there. I've come here quite a few times in the fall. And, and there's big fish here, so um, I'm, I'm gonna stay here for a minute, hit this hole a little harder. Um, there's a good bit of, there's a seam here, 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 and here. Um, and I know they're laying there. Same creek. Um, I just moved up. Actually got in the car, drove up maybe I don't know half mile. Um, water's up a little, but this is winter fishing. Uh, it's cold. Some snow runoff. Actually snowing right now. Um, you'll have that. Just stick with it. Um, like I said, I got the one bow down there um, on the mop. I mean, that, the mop will work any time of the year. Just get it down. They'll grab it. But we're gonna go up here to this hole. Um, you know, just gonna work the mop through there, maybe change to a streamer, because so I'm probably gonna end here. I don't have, you know, all day. Um, got things to do, but uh, let's hope we get a couple out of here. that's gonna pretty much do it for me today um you know same thing hit the seams um both fish i caught today were in a little bit of the deeper water um kind of the middle of the hole weren't really in the, the head or tail just kind of hanging out in the middle um i had a chase on a streamer uh in the middle also could have been the one trout i caught um the second one i caught because it was in the same hole and kind of looked about the same size um yeah it's just winter fishing um nothing really going on uh fish kind of get a little bit lazy like we do but just nice to get out 
enjoy some time on the water. Um, spring's coming, but you can still get them in the in the winter time. Just got to really hit it, and I just don't have the time. I, I don't know. I just don't really want to do it as much in the winter. I I get in a funk too, just like the fish. Um, you know, I catch one or two, and I'm good with that. And that's just you know, in the spring and fall, I feel like I just I just have more energy to fish. But uh, you know, that's another excuse I have. But hey, I had fun. That's what it's all about, and uh, soon enough we'll get into the big fish, I'm sure. Hey, have a good one.